Hi guys, welcome to Brandex Reviews. Today I'm going to be just very quickly talking about the recent announcement that there is going to be another sequel in the Paranormal Activity franchise. Now, to date there have been five films. Uh, some have been good, some have been great, some have been not so great. Um, but this will be the sixth film in the franchise. And uh, we did do a review of this back in October for like a Halloween week. So if you want to really kind of see us, me and my co-reviewer getting into this further... Uh, we did that back then. Uh, my co-reviewer isn't with me today for this one because it's just an announcement. It's nothing major. They've given the title of the film away and that is Paranormal Activity. What is it? The Ghost Dimension. Whatever the hell that means. Uh, probably use your imagination. Um, so it's, they've, they've kind of ditched the number system with this which they kind of did away with after number four. Number four to me was the, the really was the lowest point in this and from what I sort of understood... Um, Paranormal Activity, the marked ones, which was the last one, the fifth one that came out at the beginning of last year, 2014. Uh, that was supposed to be some kind of like a spin-off and not Paranormal Activity 5 as such. But I don't see why it can't be number 5 because 4 was 4 and that really kind of departed in a lot of ways from what the others had established. In fact, the marked ones to me seemed to kind of fit more than the fourth one did with the others. But that's those films anyway, like I say, we've talked about that on, on another video. So, there is a bit of a press release on this. Uh, in fact, well, actually, what I'm, I'm kind of getting off uh, has been taken from comingsoon.net. Uh, there's kind of a repost of this at brandxreviews.com, which you can check out. Um, so, here it goes, anyway. Um, Paranoid... Paranoid? I can't speak. Paramount Pictures and Blumhouse Productions have released the first photos from Paranormal Activity, The Ghost Dimension, opening in theatres on October 23rd, that's this year, so only a few months away. Um, one thing I've noticed with these films is they do, send, they do tend to uh, come out very shortly after we've seen the trailer. I mean, that, this is only like four months away now. Um, it, maybe it'll, it may seem like a long way away, but seriously, it'll be upon us within no time. Um, USA Today said that the ghost dimension will answer the questions at the core of the demonic mystery which have lingered throughout the films, also including Paranormal Activity 2, 3, 4 and the spin-off Paranormal Activity, the marked ones. Again, I don't know why they're saying it's a spin-off. I mean, maybe it was made with that intention, but it didn't really play out as a spin-off. Um, it's not like the Scorpion King, which was a spin-off from the Mummy films. The marked ones, to me, seems like as bona fide a sequel as the fourth one did. Uh, if not more so, like I say, because four was really dog shit. So anyway, the, the article continues um, as a quote. All the questions that everyone has asked from the past Paranormal Activity films. What does Toby look like? What's the backstory to the families? These questions have been teased out. Now they will be answered, producer Jason Blum said. I hope they really live up to this because we've had a lot of these kind of promises made before and a lot of the time they don't really give answers. Uh, they just kind of pose more questions and, you know, especially something like this kind of, it's, it's scary what you don't see. So maybe if they do explain too much, you'll take a bit of that away. I don't know. Um, so Paranormal Activity, the ghost dimension centers on the Fleeges. That's the name of the family, Fleeges. Father Chris, sorry, that's the name of the actor, <laughs> Father Ryan, Mother Emily and their young daughter Lila, or Leela, who moved into a house and discover a video camera and a box of tapes in the garage. That sounds familiar if you've seen the other films. Uh, when they look through the camera's lens, they begin to see the paranormal activity happening around them, including the re-emergence of Christy and Katie, those are the two sisters from the original three films. Uh, the video camera footage will be presented in 3D in theatres. Now that's going to be interesting because um, that really will take away the kind of real feeling, if there is one, if you if you get that from these films, um, that they present in these films, that it's found footage, that it's real, that what you are watching is real. And if they're doing it in 3D, that's really going to kind of take away. In fact, I remember going to see the third one and uh, one of the guys that we, we took with us actually said, is this film in 3D? And we all kind of laughed at him because it's like, well, no, cause it's not that kind of film. Um, so if they kind of are actually doing this with these for that reason, it might not be all that good. But um, there are, as I mentioned some pictures. If you go to brandxreviews.com, uh, you will be able to see those pictures on or on the Instagram page as well, which I posted. There's only a few of them. But, uh, in fact, I may even edit them into this video at the end, uh, if I can be bothered. But, um, like I say, you can see them elsewhere. But tomorrow, because I'm recording this film on Tuesday, the... What, today, what is today's day? It's the 23rd of June. 
Uh, so tomorrow the 24th, that'll be Wednesday the 24th of June, there is apparently going to be a full trailer released. There has been a 20 second trailer trailer for this, um, but um, I, I hate it when they do that, it really annoys me. Why do they just release the damn trailer, not some trailer trailer? I mean, why do they have a trailer for the trailer for the trailer? That would be good. Seriously, it really annoys me when they do that. But anyway, that's just kind of my thoughts on this franchise. We will see. Now, it does say that this is going to be the last installment in the series. This is, you know, the final one. Uh, so we will see if it lives up to that. I mean, um, usually they do this. They'll, they'll bring a film out and it will ultimately be the third one. For example, Scream, the Scream trilogy was always intended as a trilogy. They ended it on the third one. That They never made any films after that. Um, the Final Destination was the final film. The Final Destination. So... Uh, what? I'm wrong. Oh, so this this may not be the last. Oh, are you kidding me? Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Just so you know, for more news, reviews and retrospectives, you can like our page on Facebook, simply called Brand X Reviews. But as well as that, you can also subscribe to us on YouTube via this video. You can also bookmark our website, which is brandxreviews.com, which is pretty much a central hub for everything that I've just mentioned. So check that out and we will see you next time. Thank you very much.